How's it going everyone? Hopefully you're doing well. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be checking out the Tornvong. Uh, I've played a few games in it and yeah, I have not enjoyed it, to be quite honest with you. So this is going to be kind of like the first look and I wanted to play a few games this time rather than going like kind of straight into it because then I can kind of talk about the tank a little bit more having played those games in it beforehand. Right, so we are on Minsk. Yes, it's not the best map I know, but let's see what we can do. Um, although to be fair, with this tank, it's not too much of a bad thing because we can actually go hold down here and uh, use the only good thing about this tank, which is the turret armor. This thing is arguably more broken than the Chief when hold down and you're actually facing someone head on. Uh, yeah, this thing... Okay. Right. I tried to stop to let him go, but he had the same idea. Uh, yeah, this thing just doesn't get penned. Even, like, Yagtanzi 100 with 420 heat, it's not going to pen you unless it hits kind of either side of the gun, but that's very, very hard to hit because of the fact that the gun is actually basically as wide as the uh, turret. Uh, is this guy actually behind there? Yeah, he is. The tank itself, like gun-wise, is not very accurate. It's got 0.4 accuracy, I think, on this configuration that I have. I mean, buddy, you can literally... You can still go here. Like, I'm trying to give you room as well. Alright, you know what? We're actually going to cross this. We're going to cross this and try and get into this area and help our team out that way. I don't really care if we take one, it's fine. But yeah, the reload time is awful. The speed of this thing is awful. The gun handling is awful. The only good thing is the turret armor. That's it. That's the only redeeming feature on this tank. And it's just not really enough. Because this turret, as soon as you kind of have someone that is round about here. Let's say, let's say that someone is at this tree here. If you face them like this, they can pen you in the turret just because the side is so weak. So, yeah. It's not... It, everyone looked at it and thought, oh yeah, this is going to be so OP. But it's not because it's just awful in like the gun handling and stuff like that. It does get 400 alpha, but it kind of doesn't really make much sense because uh, I'd rather have like 390 alpha with a bit, little bit less of a reload time. Like 12 seconds of 400 alpha is not good. Considering the, what, the Conqueror at tier 9 has 400 alpha and has it like, what, I think a 9 second reload or something? Maybe even less than that. Been a while since I uh, played the Conqueror. Mm. We don't have a shot on this guy. 80-15. I'm pretty sure he's just going hold down. I don't think that he's trying to uh, push this. But there's also a Skoda T56. Oh dear. You can't really side scrape in this thing either. Which is a pain. Maybe the Barras will come this side. I'm not sure. Let's just wait and see. Someone might come this side. You can side scrape to a certain degree, but past. It's just, it doesn't have enough armor on the whole. And it makes sense. It, it gives up everything to have that turret, but I don't know. This is not a well-rounded tank. So on this at the moment, I have IRM, Rammer, and V-Stab. They are the ones that I've chosen at the moment. This guy might peek again. No? Okay, he's not. Maybe we can bounce this guy, I'm not sure. I 
I'm actually surprised that RNG is on our side for this. Maybe we can take out the Caliban in a second. Go for the tracks and just try and, you know, side scrape as best as we can. We still do have a 50 TP. I need to try and kill this Caliban because he's going to be a bit of an issue for me. He's tracked again. He's used a repair kit this time. LT behind me. I don't really care about that, to be fair. We're okay so far. Fifty TP is actually doing a good job. Like well, I'm, I'm glad that I actually have him here because he he killed that LT for me. And Caliban's gonna come and just demolish me now. <laughs> oh. Yes, HE loaded. Well, 2.8 is good enough for this tank, to be completely honest. Yeah, and it's on mints, so. So, we've done 2.8k, which is top on our team for damage-wise, and we get 60, 62k credits, uh, because we weren't running any boosters or anything like that, we just had Holiday Ops bonus, so not too bad. So yeah, as you can see, I've got IRM, I've got Rammer and VStab, and I'm using a VStab directive, because... He gets 0.25 or 0.26 turret dispersion, which is just awful. Like, it's beyond awful. It is useless almost. Um, so you want to get that down as much as you possibly can. Uh, so, yeah. Well, anyway, on to our next game. Right, we're on Himmelsdorf now. Not bad. Uh, we're going to go to the kind of banana road here and see what we can do. I'm actually kind of glad that None of the tanks are super OP in the loot boxes um, this year. Like the, none of them are really tanks that I would really want to have. Like the Caliban's fun, and it's just a funny kind of meme tank. Um, but like I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything by not having it. You know. So, obviously, this is the only one that I got from the loot boxes. Wow, we hit the only part of his armor that we uh, couldn't pen. Like if this had a little bit less of a reload time, then it would probably be a lot better. But at the moment, no, I wouldn't really say that this thing's OP. Like, it's just... It's not that good. Like, the only time that it's really good is when it's like this. Like, just hold down completely. And you can just sit here and people just go in front of you. Like, that's the only time that you have a chance to kind of do anything in this tank. Really? How are we hitting these shells where it just doesn't hit? Once this Tiger 1 dies, I think I might push up to try and get a little bit more out of this. Okay, let's go. We have to try and get pushed now because we're probably going to end up losing the hill. This is completely hold down. Wow. Look at this. Good luck. Well, pretty much any tank here you wouldn't be able to do much against. I think 
Okay. Let's go back. I hope that these go forwards. Um, and not come back. It looks like that's what they're going to do, but you never know. They might just go here and then snipe anyone down here. I'm not sure. This is like kind of the point of the game where you either you're either going to like get a load of damage here now, or you're going to just get nothing because they go back. Yeah, did I mention how slow this thing is? At least the lower plate's penable. How have you fired already? Tornvine was the biggest threat, so I wanted to get him out of the way. Now well, maybe I can deal with this guy. These rocks are a little bit dodgy to try and manoeuvre on, but maybe we can do something, I'm not sure. I don't think he has a shot at me. Unless he goes out and like, overexposes a lot. Not too sure how that didn't pen. Boring gameplay, I know, but that's just what this tank is. It's just you just sit there and you just you have to be hold down. You can't do anything. You can't really side scrape. You can't really do much to be quite to be quite honest with you. This guy's about to one shot this issue near enough. I don't think they should have ever ever, ever added the Caliban to the game though. Like, it's actually quite toxic for the game. Especially with its premium rounds. Like, 300 pen on those premium rounds and 180 pen on the standard rounds is kind of stupid. I mean, the real saving grace of this tank is that you just don't even need to fire premium rounds on this. That the standard rounds are more than good enough. 248 standard pen is really, really nice to have. Like, that's tank destroyer level. That's more than a Scorpion G, for example. So, basically 4k damage, it's not too bad, but yeah, it just doesn't feel like, I don't know, it just doesn't feel fun to play. Like, there's no, there is literally no challenge when you're hold down, because they just can't do anything, even tier 10s, there's just zero challenge, like, at all if you're head on facing them, um, unless they get, like, ridiculously lucky, like... <laughs> At least, right, with, like, the Chief, you actually have a Coppola. Yeah, sure, it's tiny, right? And not a lot of people can hit it, but at least it's there. Like, this has nothing. Like, it actually has nothing. Like, how, how am I meant to hit either side of this gun? Like, because that there and that there are the weak spots. Nothing at the top is weak. I don't know. I don't know. I really... It's just... It's such a stupid design tank. And you just... You give it literally... The, the tank is completely useless in every other regard besides the turret armor. Well, at least I can get another field mod. Now we're down to 0 0.38. Maybe we should uh, get rid of IRM and put improved aiming on it. Or we could put vents on it. 0 0.37. Ensure that helps out with the DPM as well. 
or we can go down to 0.35. I think 0.35 is what you want. I mean, this should give it a big enough boost. So we'll play one more game and uh, yeah, then we'll talk about kind of final thoughts about this tank. Right, we're on Berlin. Not bad. Um, actually, not a bad map. I don't really mind it. Um, I've never played it from this side from uh, since it's been redesigned, so we'll have to see if anything's changed on this area. Um, I know for a fact that you can no longer shoot through this, so there's that. But we'll have to see if um, our dispersion increases it, we can actually feel it. Because obviously we've just gone from 0.4 to 0.35, so it should be a lot better. Yes, clearly. Just massive improvements there. There is one RT. And I, I'm not trying to like block this guy, but I do want to be up here as well. I mean, there is nothing they can do here. Like, against me. I mean, this guy's stock. That's unlucky. Hello. I'm going to try and get one into the Skoda in a second. Once this 53 TP is fired. Okay. Didn't aim it very well. Kind of annoying because I'm trying not to get like show my side of my turret to these guys and these guys. This is what I mean by the, like, the bad turret situation. We're doing okay at the moment. That was a good shot. Just wide. Ugh. Nice. Okay, now he's dead. Now we can actually uh, hopefully play a little bit more around here. He went down just as I shot. Um, our team is winning, but not massively. Like, although it, although it says it up here, they actually control a lot of this. Like, this could easily just fall, and then... Yeah, it's over. Like that. Depends. Depends if these are actually holding or not. I mean, the EBR's running around in the middle. Is running. Wow. Okay. That went nowhere close. I think that went in. Uh, it'd be nice to get like 3k out of this at least. So hopefully that one went in. And that's one less shot to worry about. If it did, then I think I'm pretty sure I low rolled. I'm not spotted yet. Hmm. Now I am. Is the ISU up here still? The S1's up there. Oh, very nice. really going to get much out of this. They didn't hold this at all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is over. Wow. 15-3. Very cool. So yeah, the Tornvong. Is it any good? 
should you waste lots of money to maybe get this tank? No. No. None of them are worth it. If you have a Skoda already, it's pointless buying boxes to try and get the Skoda. Like, just wait until the premium tanks are on sale. Honestly, if you want to get a premium tank, just wait. It's just not worth it. Um, this tank especially, the gun is just awful. The view range is awful. Mobility is awful. The armor, at least the hull armor, is awful as well. Like, you get 50 side armor, so you can actually be overmatched quite a bit. Even though that this is actually the strongest turret in the game, and I do mean that, like, head on, this is the strongest turret in the game. It is more OP than a Chieftain's turret. It is not worth, like, wasting money to try and get it. But I've, I've said it as well, like, you don't buy the boxes to try and get the tank. If you want the tank, just wait, because they will sell it eventually. Anyway, hopefully you did enjoy this little first look um, at the tank. Um, maybe I will do a review on it at some point in the future, but... Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> I don't really want to keep playing this thing. It's alright. Like, and that's about as good as I could give it. Alright. I mean, at least it earns credits because you don't have to fire premium. But that's about it. Like, why would I play this thing when I could play the Skoda? I could play the Patriot. I could play the 7032. The 7032 is better than this tank. Um, I'll tell you that right now. This thing is not as good as this. And that's the truth. So, yeah. I mean, it's a crew trainer for your Kran. Uses the exact same crew, but that's it. Let me know if you've got this thing and what you think about it, because I'll be interested to know. Make sure you hit subscribe and like the video if you did enjoy, and I'll see you all in the next one.